members elect. The next stage of the process is the declaration of the winner of the election. But at this point, I want to take my exit because the, the host of the House, the clerk to the National Assembly, is in house. So I want to take my leave for him to announce the result. And from this point onwards, he will be in charge of the proceedings. Take that seat. Members elect, my name is Sani Magajitamwal, the clerk to the National Assembly. I have the honor and the privilege to declare the result of the election for the seat of the Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives. Here is the result. <coughs> I will now declare the result. The, uh, member elect Tajuddin Abbas, having scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and the return elected as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Members elect are now called the proposer and the seconder to lead the winner for to take out of office.
Hi. Hi, about Sajuddin. Do we solemnly? Yeah. But we are different from governors. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve. You are the Speaker of the House. That's the President. And that I will preserve. Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Court of, the, court of Speaker of the House of the House of Representatives. Hi. Hi, Ambassador Jodin. Yeah. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And here uh, and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. That as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions honestly. Honestly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal. Republic of Nigeria. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law. And the law. And the rules of the House. And the rules of the House. And always in the interest of the sovereignty. And always in the interest of the sovereignty. Integrity. Integrity. Solidarity. Solidarity. Well-being. Well-being. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive to, pro to preserve that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives, the fundamental objectives and directive principles, and directive principles of state policy, of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that, and that I will preserve. And that I will, uh, I will abide. And that I will preserve. That I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will abide. And that I will abide. By the code of conduct. By the code of conduct. Contained in the fifth schedule. Contained in the fifth schedule. Of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. of member of the House of Representatives. I, I, Ambassador Judin, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful, bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as a member of the House of Representatives, that as a member of the Federal House of Representatives, I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions honestly. Honestly, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law. And the law. And the rules of the house. And the rules of the house. And always in the interest of the sovereignty. And always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, integrity, solidarity, solidarity, well-being, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will that I will strive to preserve. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives, the fundamental objectives and directive principles, and directive principles of state policy, of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will preserve, and that I will preserve, protect, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will abide. And that I will abide by the code of conduct. By the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule. Contained in the fifth schedule. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. 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 Amen.
All right, we are still live in Abuja, and you are taking a look at the just concluded House of Representatives voting their new Speaker of the House, uh, Honorable Tajujin Abbas. He won 353 votes out of 359. Outright winner, and he just took his oath. And we are, of course, uh, continuing our coverage. Of course, don't forget that uh, Senator Godswill Akpabio, he has emerged as the Senate President of the 10th Senate, both candidates were endorsed by the ruling All Progressive Congress Party, and the votes followed suit. So these, of course, are going to be the leaders of the legislative arm for the next four years, the class of 2023 through 2027. So it's been an invigorating last couple of hours as the votes have been cast and the candidates have also uh, said a few words as well. Yes, 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 yes,
Yeah, members elect, order please, order please. We are now going to conduct the election of the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. I now call for nomination. Member elect. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, Honorable Speaker. Thanks, Assembly. Honorable, right, Honorable TJ Abbas. Right, Honorable Speaker. As it then was, Knight Assembly. Right, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. Right, Honorable Speakers, past, present. The Clerk of the House. Distinguished, eminent colleagues, I remain Baba Jimmy Benson. I represent the very good people and gender-friendly people of the Kurdu Federal Constituency. Honorable colleagues, 50% of the job is done. Honorable colleagues, arise today in the spirit of inclusion, in the spirit of marginalization, in the spirit of correcting the marginalization in our polity, in the spirit of renewed hope, in the spirit of inclusion, arise today to nominate a man who has passed 45 bills in the House of Reps, a legal luminary, a man who has, who, has, who has assisted the House as a publicity committee chairman of the House of Reps, a spokesperson par excellence. It is this same House that all members, of, all members elect today are being sworn in. A man of justice, a man of character, a man of good conscience. A man who at 29 became the local government chairman of Bende, local government in Abia State. A man who at 32 years became a commissioner in Abia State, a lawyer par excellence who graduated from the University of Calabar, a man who I asked yesterday that are you sure you can do this job, a man who then called all his aides and said the youngest person who is a member of the representative's office is greater than my office, a man who I asked again are you sure you're ready for this job? He responded and used a phrase called a corporate soul. I said, what does that mean? He said a corporate soul means the office remains, but the officer comes and goes. He said, and he quoted John Wesley, he said that he will do all the good he can to all the people he can in all the places he can, to all the members he can, and every inch of the time. He is prepared to complement the good efforts of our Right Honorable Speaker Tent Assembly, Right Honorable T.J. Abbas, Iya Zao Zao. Arise to nominate Benjamin Okeze Kalu as the Deputy Speaker of the 10th National Assembly. I so nominate, Mr. Kalu, Speaker. Kalu, Kalu, Seconda Kalu, of stage. Kalu, seconda of stage. Any seconda? Seconda of stage. I'm by elect. No, no, no. No, no. Go ahead. Good morning, honorable colleagues. My name is Kafilat Ogbara from Oshoke Constituency.
Hello. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. Waziri Bukhar Ibrahim, I represent Damaturu Telmo and Gujibagulani, federal constituency of Yobe State. I rise to second the nomination of Honorable Ben Kalu as Deputy Speaker of this Right Honorable House. I so second. Yeah. Member. Order. Order. M members elect order. I now call Honorable Benjamin Kalu. Benjamin Kanu to state whether he accept. Most distinguished speaker of the 10th assembly, the clerk of the National Assembly, the deputy clerk of the National Assembly, all former presiding and principal officers of the previous assemblies, my honorable colleagues, member-elect, my name is Benjamin Okezie Kahlo. I represent the good people of Nigeria, starting from Bende, federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I'm from Abia State, and I rise to accept the nomination ably presented by honorable Jimmy Benson, and ably seconded by Honorable Khadija. I so accept. Are there further nominations? Are there further nominations? Are there further nominations? In the absence of... In the absence of further nominations, I declare the nomination closed. Members elect, in the absence of any John, member elect Benjamin Kalu. I now call on the tellers, the proposer and seconder to lead Benjamin Kalu to take the oath.
pledge of allegiance. I. I. Benjamin Okezie Carlo. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve. And that I will preserve. Protect. Protect. Defend. Defend. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Out of a member of the House of Representatives. I. I, Benjamin Okezie Carlo. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as a member of the House of Representatives. That as a member of the House of Representatives. I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions. Honestly. Honestly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law. And the law. And the rules of the house. And the rules of the house. And always in the interest of sovereignty. And always in the interest of sovereignty. Integrity. Integrity. Solidarity. Solidarity. Well-being. Well-being. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive to preserve. That I will strive to preserve. The fundamental objectives. The fundamental objectives. And directives principle. And directive principles of state policy of state policy contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will preserve and that i will preserve protect protect and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will abide and that i will abide by the code of conduct by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule contained in the fifth schedule to the constitution of the Federal Republic to the of Nigeria. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Deputy Speaker. Okay, so I'll give you the same, but it is the same thing. Okay. Can we come and mention Deputy Speaker? No. Out of the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, I. I, Benjamin Okezie Carlo, do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as a deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. That as a deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions honestly. Honestly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal. Republic of Nigeria and the law and the law and the rules of the house and the rules of the house and always in the interest of and, the sovereignty and always in the interest of the sovereignty integrity integrity solidarity solidarity well-being well-being and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will strive to preserve that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives the fundamental objectives and directives principle and directives principles of the state policy of the state policy contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will preserve and that i will preserve protect protect and defend the and constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will abide and that i will abide by the code of conduct by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule contained in the fifth schedule to the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. My name? Yeah, you mentioned it. Let me sign. Let me sign. Thank you.
Just can come up later.
All right, we are still uh, watching uh, live uh, scenes from the inauguration of the Tent Assembly. And what we're seeing here is uh, Honorable Benjamin Kalu has emerged as the deputy speaker. In uh, yeah, the deputy speaker. Uh, this, uh, of course, happened uh, not too long after the Speaker of the House of Representatives uh, was also announced, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, who polled about 353 votes to defeat Honorable Idris Wase and Honorable Aminu Jaji, who polled at uh, three votes each. But right now, Benjamin uh, Kalu has emerged as the deputy speaker. More scenes, we're seeing Honorable Kalu was sworn in as the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives for the uh, 10th Assembly. This in itself uh, brings the voting in the race for the post of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the 10th House of Representatives uh, to a close. Looks like it has been a smooth process this morning, hasn't it, Cynthia? Indeed, it has. And I think what was most interesting is the fact that this um, this um, exercise that produced the speaker was an open situation where once the name of the rep was called, you know, they basically said the, their choice. I think it was this. I heard numerous times, Tajudi Abbas. I also had PhD. I was like, wow, okay, this is a lot of loyalty going on here. Definitely. And um, I, I'm just particularly glad that at least now we've seen how things have played out with this exercise that had a lot of, you know, controversy that surrounded it, whether it was in terms of the emergence of the Senate president 
being zoned to the south south and the positions that were taken by various groups. Members elect. So it's it's just wonderful to see it come to a a wonderful close. So we're going to go right back to Abuja where all this is taking place. Members elect. Please go tell it. Ah. Order. Members elect. Order. Please, please. Order. Order, please. I'm not sure the clerk can still use the gavel, please. Order. Please take your seat. Members elect. Take your seat. Order, please. Order. I am not sure the clerk can still use the gavel, please. The clerk should just pass on the gavel to Mr. Speaker, please. Mr. Clerk, I think a speaker has... I stand to be corrected. Mr. Clerk, a speaker has emerged. Your use of the gavel, I don't know if it is accommodated in our standing order, sir. Clerk of the National Assembly, a speaker has emerged. Yeah, members elect. Members a elect. A speaker Order, has emerged, Mr. Clark. A speaker has emerged, Clark. A speaker has emerged. Give him the gavel. Give him the gavel. Please take your seat. Please take your seat. Order, please. Clark, you are not the one presiding any longer. There you can no speaker. longer preside, Clark. Give the gavel to the speaker. The speaker has, ta the speaker has taken oath. Give him the gavel. Yes, give him the gavel. Thank you. Thank you. Please take your seat. Take your seat. I wish to announce. Please take your seat. All of them. Uh, no, he will. Because, eh? Yeah. Is he going to stay? No, I'll just tell you. Members elect, I wish to announce that before the, <coughs> the speech of the Honorable Speaker, the former Speaker may wish to do a ceremonial handing over to the new Speaker. Yeah. No, I say... Uh, Hey. Hey. So, the Honorable Speaker, Deputy Speaker, on behalf of the management of and the staff of the National Assembly, we have concluded our job in the House of Representatives. We wish you Allah's blessing throughout your tenure. Thank you. We take our exit. Thank you.
You're still watching live scenes from the inauguration of the 10th Salvation. National Assembly. All those and uh, come up. breaking Why news right now, process. what you're seeing on the screen, we have uh, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Benjamin Kalu, has come out as the, uh, the Deputy Speaker. And if you're just joining us, a quick uh, wrap up of what's happened so far. Uh, Senate President is uh, Senator Godwill Akbabio, who uh, won this position after scoring 63 votes, defeating Senator Oyari. But now we're having the former Speaker of the House, uh, Femi Bajabi Amila, about to address Colleagues, the House. Let's listen to him. We thank God for a peaceful, rancor-free process. On behalf of members of the House of the Ninth Assembly and, I believe, the Tenth uh, Assembly, I congratulate you on your election as a Speaker of the Tenth Assembly. I wish you well. It's not an easy fit, but from what I know, you will do a good job. These are your members. We are your members. And I congratulate you. And on behalf of them, I hand over my handover notes as a speaker of the Ninth Assembly. This will be a guide to you, and I hope you continue from where I left. Congratulations, and God bless you. Right then, still watching scenes from the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly. Um, what was very different about today's inauguration is the fact that the 10th Senate and the 10th House of Representatives uh, did their elections concurrently in the red and green chambers. Now, before the uh, congratulatory message from the former Speaker of the House, uh, Femi Bajabiamila was giving a rundown of uh, the, the, the results of today's inauguration. Uh, Senate President has been elected, the Senator Godswill Akbabio, after scoring 63 votes, defeating Senator Abdulaziz Yari, who scored 46 votes. And he will be the first South Southerner to be elected President of the Senate since Nigeria got its independence in 1960. We also Order, have the Speaker colleagues. of the House of uh, Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, who called 353 votes to defeat Honorable uh, Tajuddin you. Let's listen. Let's take a listen. Members elect, we were originally supposed to proceed on zonal basis, but uh, as the Speaker directed, all members should stand up. Point of order, we have not gotten forms up here. Yes. Raise your we hands. do not have forms up here. If you don't have the card, you raise your hands, please. We don't have. 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 It will be issued later. No, 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 we don't have. No, 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 no. We don't have. Repeat after me. Do your job. I. Do solemnly swear, Do solemnly swear. Affirm, affirm that I will be faithful, will be faithful. And, bear and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Republic of Nigeria. 
that I will preserve, I will preserve protect, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Out of a member of House of Representatives, I, I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as a member of the House of Representatives, I will perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability, yes. faithfully, faithfully, in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the law, and the rules of the House, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will abide by the Code of Conduct contained in the fifth schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, new members.
And on that note, a speaker has emerged. That's Hajjuddin Abbas, along with his deputy, that's Benjamin Kalu, regarding some of some facts about the newly appointed Speaker of House of Representatives. Until his emergence as Speaker, he was the House Committee's Chairman for Land Transport. He had also served in more than seven committees in the House since 2015, including Commerce, Finance, Special Duties, Defense, Public Procurement, the National Planning, as well as Economic Development Committee. He also sponsored the highest number of bills in the 8th Assembly between 2015 and 2019 and also sponsored record-breaking 74 bills out of which 21 were signed into law between 2019 and this year. Abbas left private and academia to join politics in 2010 where he contested for the House of Representatives seats 2011 and 1. Now preceding that, from 2001 to 2005 he worked as a marketing manager at the Nigerian Tobacco Distribution Company, now the British American Tobacco Company. He became a lecturer at the Kaduna State University between 1993 and 2001. He also furthered his education by completing a doctorate degree in business management at the Usman Danford University in 2010. Etona, we know where they were saying Tajudi Abbas PhD. PhD. <laughs> you have to let them know that uh, this is a, a very this well educated man, fry. of course. But I, I'm keen to see how he brings in, you know, his experience in the private sector, academia, and uh, you know, into this position. It's a crucial one. I, I'm keen to see how it, how things play out. But congratulations are definitely in order. Definitely. Uh, looking at how this entire process has gone, um, I was just uh, talking, uh, looking at uh, some of the updates because this is over now. And, you know, for a very long time, we were talking about this back and forth, you know, between uh, Senator, who is now the <laughs> elected Senate president, Senator Godswill Akpabio, and of course, uh, Abdulaziz uh, Yari. And mm -hmm. for, you know, whether or not, the opposition party was going to partner with uh, Yari, Yari to take the seat, but that's not what has happened here. And uh, definitely, the f like I said before, the first time that we're having a South, a South, a South Southerner occupying that position. So we're seeing history yeah. also being made here today. And I, I, I think the I don't know what will also you know be potential. Um, I don't want to use the word implications. But I think that will be the best choice right now. You, you know, they're not too. A lot of groups had expressed their, you know, displeasure with the fact that this these vital positions were zoned, mm -hmm. and they were pushing for a level playing field, saying that the executive should not encroach on the, on the, authority, or the sovereignty, of the legislature. We, we I believe we, I think we had um, a couple of guests last week, one that was representing the Northern Elders Forum, and he basically made it clear that they were not keen on this being zoned and that they would like to see it be a level playing field. But I remember when we also asked him about what the action of the Northern Elders Forum would be if um, this was not adhered to, I mean, and by that I mean if, if well, there was no level playing field, he also made it clear that they would simply respect the decision, you know, of the president. So it's um, it's just good to see that things went or things have been going relatively smooth today, with no no incident. Of course, I did hear some of our colleagues earlier saying that um, Yari did not look too thrilled <laughs> at the time. Um, understandably so, but kudos to him for not, you know, necessarily um, causing a scene. Or those that have given their account of him as a person say that he is actually um, a wonderful individual, and I think that was that seems to have been displayed in its entirety today. And then, you know, in, in, in to speak of the entire process and the fact that we're now here and we've mm. had, and we now have the four, uh, you know, presiding officers, they've been elected, they've been sworn in. Uh, I think it's now important for them to focus on 
the, why they are actually in that position in the first place. You know, the 10th National Assembly um, must grab the bull by the horn and execute their legislative duties with uh, absolute vigor and agility to help create policies that would benefit Nigerians. Now, their responsibilities must help translate into the rule of law, job creations, investment in education, in health, in infrastructural development. That is what we want to see. There has been the back and forth argument about whether it's a rubber, whether it's going to be a rubber stamp or it's not. Well, the members have, vote, have voted, as is their right, as stated in the Constitution, uh, Section 50, it is their right to select who they want to be their leader from amongst themselves. So here we are now with the 10th National uh, Assembly. We, you know, we're looking at basically those that are going to be responsible for um, the, legis you know, um, the legislations that are c come out and are passed on to uh, you know, the executive. I'm just wondering, Shito, because we, um, one of the gentlemen we spoke to yesterday, they declare that the, um, that the PDP was going to listen to all sides mm -hmm. and that whichever candidate appealed to them the most, that's who they pitched their tent with. I'm wondering if that actually, you know, played out and if Pavio was able to make his case. I mean, the PDP, I, I don't know, but, but it just makes me wonder, you know, what happened behind closed doors. That is the beauty of <laughs> politics, you know. Um, it was a very tight race. It was Indeed. very tight. And we've seen, like, I mean, we've seen the, the, the votes being cast and the results of that, we can, we, we can only uh, try and assume, or we can only try to imagine what could have happened behind closed doors. But definitely, I'm sure the meetings were being held yeah. up until, uh, you know, even uh, very early this morning. But uh, just to highlight on the fact that while, you know, all 109 senators elect will take their oath of office today, only 358 uh, members elect will do so in the lower chamber. And that's because the, the member elect for the Jalingo Federal constituency of Taraba State, Ismailai Maichi, died in April, while the Speaker of the Ninth House, Femi Baja Biamila, will be taking what taking up, of course, his new appointment as chief of staff to uh, President uh, Bola Tinobu, which means that INEC would also have to conduct uh, a by-election to fill those two seats. Indeed. And when it comes to looking at the personality of the Senate President, Gozbula Pabio, some have described him as one who has a constant smile and one that's rarely caught frowning, no matter what's going wrong and i think we were able to see that smile today as well the former governor is also renowned for his oratory prowess his intelligence and poise and he seems to be a one who displays confidence and great self-esteem that's going by the accounts of those who have you know interacted with him and come rather close to him we also understand that he's of course he's married to ekaite akwabio the founder of the Family Life Enhancement Initiative, that's a non-governmental organization that provides a platform for redirecting the focus of development efforts on the family as a strategy for achieving millennium development goals. And they both have four daughters. So it's great to see how there's a lot of, you know, um, activity that goes on in the family in terms of being involved in, the non in, um, in projects like this. But also, Shaita, you know, there's always a bit of some scandals that, that, that you know, all these gentlemen that emerge in various positions did not just walk into it. Some of them have gone through and outlived and survived various scandals. I'm sure a lot of people remember the off your mic. I mean, that, 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 <laughs> was, a, that was a legitimate scuttle. fear, yeah. um, you know, legitimate fear going into this because a lot of people were wondering if indeed um, Senator Godswill uh, Akwabio's past would haunt him. I mean, nobody can forget about the NDDC debacle off your mic. But at this point... Doesn't matter. His mic <laughs> is going to be on. So, yeah. yes, he's the Senate president. Uh, let's just uh, take a listen.